This video revises Venn diagrams and how they can be used to represent information. Now, this first line tells me the numbers which I can use in my Venn diagram. So, we've only got the numbers from 1 to 10, and they're all whole numbers or integers. And set A are those which are odd. So, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. It can help to list the numbers to start off with. And set B are the triangle numbers, which, as a reminder, the first one is 1, the second one is 3, then it goes 6, and then the last one is 10. 1, 3, 6, 10. And I must put these numbers into this diagram somehow. And I write all of A within the A circle, and all of B within the B circle, but those which are in both sets go in the middle. So I can see how 1 is both odd and a triangle number, and 3 is also within both of those two sets. 5, 7, 9 are only odd, and 6 and 10 are the triangle numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are still some numbers that have not been used, and they go around the outside. So I've used a 1, but not a 2 yet. I've used a 3, but not a 4. The 5 is being used, so is the 6, so is the 7 but not the 8. The 9 is in there, and so is the 10. So this Venn diagram shows me those 10 numbers, and whether they are odd, triangle, both, or neither. Now my question says, find the chance that a number picked at random is a triangle number given it is odd. Now, the word given in this context means a really, really, really specific thing. Given it is odd means just look at the odd circle. Zone in into that and nothing else. In that circle, there are five numbers. And of those five, some are also triangle numbers these two here. So two out of the five are triangle, three are not. So the chance of number is triangle, given it is odd, is two-fifths. And so two-fifths is the answer to that particular question.